In this video, we discuss the three main types of networks you need to know about for the exam, and they are WANs, LANs, and PANs. Computers that are not connected to any network are referred to as standalone computers. Now, there are many reasons why you'd want to network a standalone computer. There's all sorts of benefits. These include the fact that users can share files, users can share peripherals such as printers and connections to other networks, e.g. the internet. Users can access their files from any computer on the network. Servers can control security, software updates and the backing up of data. And the easy communication with other people via, say, email or social networking. A local area network covers a small geographical area typically located on a single site or even a single building. All the hardware for the LAN tends to be owned by the organisation using it. And LANs typically are wired with UTP cables, fibre optic cables or wireless communication using Wi-Fi. With a wide area network, we cover a much larger geographical area and these often connect LANs together. The infrastructure between the LANs tends to be hired from telecommunications company who own and manage it. And WANs tend to be connected with telephone lines, fibre optic cables or satellite links. Computers in the local area network are connected with a switch, which is shown here in red. Computers in wide area networks are connected with a router, shown here in green. This can be confusing because on your home network, you probably have a single device known as a router. In this situation, your home router is able to provide the functionality of a wireless access point, a switch and a router all in one physical box. On a much larger local area network with many more machines to connect, these would be three different physical devices, each with a dedicated function. A personal area network, or a PAN for short, is any computer network which is used for data transmission amongst very localised devices. You might be used to several Bluetooth style PAN devices like cell phones, tablets, laptops, in-car speakers or wireless headphones. As just mentioned, most common communication technology used in a PAN is Bluetooth. This has a very short range of around 10 metres but is ideal for these sort of devices as it pulls a very low amount of power. There are, of course, some disadvantages to networking as well. These include an increased security risk to data as it's now shared. Malware and viruses can spread very easily between connected devices. If a central server fails, all the computers may not work depending on the configuration and the computers may run more slowly if there's a lot of data traveling and a lot of traffic on the network. 